Hey guys, your boy Mark back with another video here with my review of NXT Heat Wave 2024. Show just got off the air. What a crazy, damn good show that was. I think that was definitely a lot better than Money in the Bank. Although, in terms of moments, nothing here touches the John Cena stuff, obviously. And yeah, I stuck to my word. I did exercise today and diet. Um, I'm fasting today, so. Got a bottle full of water and a Powerade bottle. So yeah, next to eat. Wait, let's just get it, get over, get on with this review. Um, I did. I hear my thing going off my phone. Uh, this this is my mom's phone because she has a lot more space, uh, storage space. That's why I'm doing it on my mom's phone. Anyway, um, what was I saying? The uh. Uh, Pre-show match, I didn't watch. It was a tag match, whatever. But the show opens up with uh, Wesley challenging for the NXT North American Championship. Uh, this against Obafemi. Great match. Obafemi's a friggin' beast. Uh, it's what you expect. If you like Obafemi, if you like Wesley like I do. Uh, you know, Wesley, he deserves the NXT Championship anyway. He should go for that instead of the North American Championship at this point. You know, he had an awesome reign while he lost at his first one. Um, but yeah, uh, Obafemi retains, great opener, next up, this was my match, this was, next up was probably my match tonight until we get to the main event, because that whole, that main event was insane, man, the first ever, at least on a PLE, NXT Women's North American Championship match, um, this was, uh, <laughs> This was a, what am I was trying to say, um, um, Kehlani Jordan versus, um, Sol Ruko, I think that's her name, um, this was epic, this was technical wrestling masterclass at its finest, absolutely love this match, uh, just watch it, two gymnasts going at it, Virgo, Libra, uh, Sol Ruka being the Virgo, and uh, the champion, Kehlani Jordan, being the Libra. <laughs> uh, I'm into Zodiac so stuff, um, but yeah. Um, yeah, awesome match, Kehlani Jordan retains. Um, next up, we got um, the Tag Team Championship match, uh, Chase U versus Nathan Frazier and uh, Axiom. I'm I'm not the biggest fan of tag team wrestling, honestly, so I actually was about half an hour late for the show, so I just skipped it to when it was live, and uh, this actually looked like a pretty dang good match, holy crap, Canadian Destroys and all that, good stuff, and uh, yeah, um, Chase U actually did some pretty awesome performances in this, uh, the match ended with uh, Frazier and Axiom retaining, but yeah. I need to switch my arm every time because it gets me tired. Um, but yeah. Um, next up, NXT Women's Championship match. I really love this match. Um, so proud of Lil Vice. Well, I was rooting for against Rox and Perez. Uh, kicked out of Pop Rocks. I popped my rock when that happened. But I'm just... Uh, then she actually kicked out of it again. This time it was on the table. Didn't, the table didn't break, but she kicked out again. Then Roxanne Perez, I know technically the match was ongoing, basically acted like the biggest sore loser of all time and just did like a million pop rocks to finally put away Lullavice. Great match. Uh, that's some sore loser shit. I don't know. Like, I was, I was just thinking you could say the same for me about John Cena, you know, given I'm the biggest John Cena fan of all time. Um, uh, giving AJ Styles um, a third AA, then rolling him up for a fourth AA to guarantee victory when he won his 16th World Championship. Still, got me there, but still. At least I mentioned that, so yeah. Uh, still, an, well, awesome match because of the kickouts, you know. I'm proud of Lola the Vice regardless. I was rooting for it. Um... Main event NXT Championship match. 
NXT Championship, Trick Williams defends against Ethan Page. Sean Spears and um, Javon Evans, who was the one who actually owned the contenders to this in the first place. This match was epic, crazy, chaotic. Sean Spears getting out of chair, whacking Javon with it, and then like doing kind of like a rolling thing into uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Um, the chair in the corner thing. That was awesome spot. Javon Evans, this young man is amazing. Holy crap. Just flying all over the place. Great stuff. A uh, lot, bunch of, like, there was like an avalanche attitude adjustment. There was an avalanche RKO. Um, uh, Trick Williams, like, pushed um, Javon Evans all the way f from the apron to the table, through the table, through the announce table. And, uh, yeah, um, and then the crazy ending came. Uh, Trick Williams, he did his trick shot, I think that's the name of his finisher, to, uh, who did he do it to? Did it to Javon, I think. Then he did it to Ethan Page. And then frickin' Sean Spears was holding on to Trick Williams, as, was trying to call back Tr Trick Williams. As that happened, Ethan Page, um, you know, shades of Backlash 2007 when Shawn Michaels super kicked John Cena into um into a into a pinning on a I think it was Edge or Randy Orton. It was definitely either Edge or Randy Orton that he I don't remember exactly, but the end of the Backlash two thousand seven main event, you know that reminded me of that. Except this time we had a new champion. Ethan Page wins the NXT championship. Congratulations to him. That was an insane Freaking epic fatal four way, uh, maybe one of the best four ways I've ever seen to be honest. And yeah, Ethan Page, the new NXT champion, far out. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say. That's my review of NXT Heat Wave 2024. Really quick, I'm getting it out there. So my arms tired. I'm gonna switch off now. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Have a good one. And yeah.